<sighs> All that progress lost at the end. It sucks. Now there is one thing that I must say. You still may be wondering why I am not buying from Ubisoft anymore. I will say that now. They made a sequel to this game. I'm dead serious. This game they made a sequel to. Better moves, better everything, better control, whatever. That's what I heard. No, no, that I'm a PC gamer. The only console I have is Wii and PS2 and Sega Genesis, but still. They made a sequel. They thoroughly announce that the sequel will not be available to the PC gamers. And that is what pissed me off. They sold us an unfinished game. A game that required a sequel. They make it. They don't sell it to us. They give it to the 360, they give it to the PS3. Not us. It pisses me off. Thoroughly. <sighs> That is why I'm not buying from Ubisoft anymore. They screwed me over. They screwed a mil They screwed thousands of people over now. I'm not buying from them anymore. Period. Now, just a week ago, I was tempted to buy uh, Prince of Persia and the Two Thrones for PC. What stopped me? I'm not buying from Ubisoft anymore. I remember that. Hey. Hey, some guy with my name, music composed, Stuart Chatwood. Stuart is my first name. <laughs> Reed Ruddy? Orchestra recording. Reed Ruddy, what the hell? Yeah. Now don't get me wrong. I don't care. I don't mind if it has a bad end. I don't mind if it has a sad ending. It's not a stupid ending. People people suck like that. A game is something is uh, like they watch a movie. It has a sad ending. They end up saying it's so stupid or it's a stupid ending. That's what sucks about people. It's not a stupid it's not stupid. This one might be stupid, yeah, but still. Stupid is not depressing. Depressing is not stupid. I have no problem with sad endings. I have no problem. It's a... If it makes you sad at the end, when it's supposed to be sad, it's a good movie. You know. You know why. You know it's a good movie if it really brings tears to your eyes or anything like that. But this, this is what I call a stupid ending. Might be sad, I have no problem with that. They destroy all your progress in one simple step. And it is required. There is no alternative ending, as was proven by other people, not me. But I am not getting 700. I am not getting 700 light seeds, no. But still. That's the ending. To the PC gamers, they're screwed over because Ubisoft is a dick. I don't care if I use that word right now. Ubisoft is a dick. I'm not buying from them anymore. Now here's where something else comes in. Other companies have screwed other people over. Include, not including me, of course. For instance, Valve. Valve does not release on the PS3. But then again, they never released on the PS3. The only thing they released on the PS3 was the orange box. However, it was not they who made the PS3 ports into the PS3. It was 
it was actually eBay. I researched this a little bit. Um, eBay was eBay or some other company was like, uh, hey, this orange box thing is pretty cool. Do you mind if we make a PS3 version of it? They said, go ahead. Of course, they don't update it. It's EA's job to update it. It may be their game, but it's EA's job to upda update it if it's a PS3 port. I understand that. Might I be pissed if I owned a PS3? Yes, I would. But still. I mean, uh, there are so man many things different with the PS3 version of Team Fortress 2. My friend has it. And I feel sorry for him. He doesn't have all the good stuff we have right now, but I'm getting off track. Very long credits. They they already showed some of these credits too. I think they uh, showed it during uh, during the game while you're while you're bringing the uh... yeah I forget where while you're bringing Elika back to the outside to destroy the trees and destroy the last tree. They showed it during that. They decided to do it, do it again. I don't know why. I don't care. But I will show it all, otherwise I might get sued. <laughs> nah, I'm not. No, I'm joking. Gear team. What gear team? I don't know what gear is. Note that I already do know what my next Let's Play is. Other than the two I'm already doing, which at the at the time I at the time I'm recording this, the current Let's Plays I'm doing is uh, Mass Effect and uh, Half-Life 2 Episode 1. I finished Half-Life 2 Episode 1 recording, I might need to do it again because I messed up on the sound, but still. I did. I did. Okay. Whether you see the new Let's Play right now or not, I don't know. I would not know. I would not know if you see if I already uploaded. By the time I upload this, whether the uh, other Let's Play I'm going to do after this will be uploaded. Whether it's one part or 27. I know which one it's going to be. I know. Whether my friend contacts me or not on uh, the emulator and ROM, I'll do it myself if I need to. I'm gonna do it. So yeah. Good game, bad game at the same time. Yeah. This is, that's what this is. A good and bad game at the same time and the reason of Ubisoft's eventual downfall. I'm not buying from them anymore. Now notes! Where is this case that I have? Right here. Sorry. But, uh... Let's see, Ubisoft, all rights reserved, based on Prince Pretty, blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. Wait, what? Hold on. What? Okay, I was wrong. Or I could have been wrong. But get this, the video card minimum requirements is 256 megabyte direct X. Don't preview don't like the ATI Radeon, not even the HD versions have direct X. Cause if they do, they really messed up on the minimum requirements, because my HD Radeon 2400 HD, which I used to use. Lagged on this game low qu lowest quality, and the textures wouldn't mean anything. Trust me. But yeah, they screwed up on that too. I don't know about the processor. I have plenty good processor, although uh, my processor is pretty old old by now. 